All right, welcome to our YouTube channel. Today's shop walk's pretty interesting. A uh, few things to show you. First of all, first of all, the professor, Mr. Uh, Wicked Smot. Wicked Smot. Smot, where the shirt, <laughs> I bought that for you in Boston, remember? Thank you, sir. <laughs> we want to show you uh, a VR1000, so let me give you a little history real quick. This is a Harley VR1000, it was a zero mile bike. We sold it a while ago under the premise that it was It running. ran. It yeah. ran. And <laughs> most of the time when you have a bike that's been recommissioned, we get through them pretty quick. This one has had uh, more than its fair share of gremlins. It's got a couple. And thankfully, Scott and I connected with a guy in what, in, U in the UK. In the UK, and he's had a horde of parts, a couple pallets of parts. So he's been helping us quite a bit. Um, first, we had uh, what, what was our first issues that we had? First issue was the uh, fuel injection, no, or no, no spark because of the cam position sensor. So we ended up doing a cam position sensor, and that fixed that. Yeah, fixed that problem. Um, and uh, that made it run. Then we, we had the oil leak. We had an oil leak on the oil pan. The oil pan, the way it sets to the bottom of the motor wasn't ideal. No. From the factory. It was a zero mile bike, so it wasn't like it was damaged, but... Uh, I didn't like the gasket they sent either. The, the OEM gasket just didn't seal worth a damn, so I just made my own. Made your own. And then after that, we did a couple test rides. Uh, Scott, on a little bit so we can see the bike. Yeah. We did a couple test rides and the oil pressure light was coming on. So we were concerned with that. Yep. And so we think the remedy for that would be what? We ended up changing to a heavier uh, regulator spring in, in the oil pump. So it's gonna have more, more pressure overall everywhere. Did you already do it? Yeah. So here's the thing. So first Here, off, here's the old. If you don't know about the bike, this is the future bike for today's shop walk. That's our new thing we're gonna do. It's a VR1000 by Harley. They only made about 50 of them, thereabouts. Only about 20 of them were street equipped with the headlights and everything else like that, thereabouts. And the reason why they made so few is they homologated it in another country to kind of get by the homologation rules. So typically you have to make 500 bikes. You cheated. And they went through, <laughs> I've heard that they homologated through Poland, but then I've heard other things, so I'm not exactly sure which, but I do know that they only made about 50 of them. Yeah. But anyway, Scott, take a look at some of the stuff. So yeah, obviously you have a really cool Wildwood brake system uh, with Harley's logos on them, narrow band rotors, and these look like an iron mix of some sort. Olean's black forks, which are fantastic. Pretty much super bike spec at that time, right? Top of the line back then. Yep, top of the line. You have just a bunch of, of magnesium. And if you don't know, and of course, stack gauges, which a lot of the race bikes were using, even the frame is half and half. So the bike is orange on this side, black on the other, as Scott just pointed out. The frame is also orange and black. Carbon fiber air box. I mean, just, you know, it's got a cool steel braided lines to the uh, catch can back here. Yep. It's got uh, obviously Harley brakes, steel braided lines in the factory, beautiful machine work on the swing arm. Harley then most certainly did not hold back on it. Penske shock. Um, look at the crazy gear. So underneath- Those came out of a giant watch. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Pretty rad though. I just, uh, oh, well, whoop, don't as I pulling it apart. <laughs> <laughs> this is why I'm not allowed to shop. And then this, again, a magnesium case cover that holds the, that covers is this. Is that light or what? I know, it's like it just barely even floats. So anyway, that's the feature bike of the day. Really neat. Hopefully the spring issue will get this thing sorted so we can get paid for it and get this thing shipped because the cost customer is tired of waiting. We'll get her done. To the customer, as I said, look who's working on your bike. He's, the shirt says it, so you know it's true. He's wicked smart. Uh, we'll get this one running pretty well. Hopefully I can take one more test ride on it before it goes. Yeah. And uh, keep on fingers crossed. Moving on, let's see what else is going on in the shop. Ollie is still helping uh, Westby Racing, so he's out. Uh, helping them and the, and the uh, team. There's the upper part of the VR1000. If you haven't seen one before, it's a one-piece body, which uh, which is, again is really neat. Um, the bike never really did that great in uh, racing. By the time it actually came out, it was already dated, so it never really did what it needed to. And a lot of the racers that were racing, who was it? Scott Russell, Miguel De Hommel, Chris Carr. Uh, uh, what was the uh, Pascal, you know, what's the, the French guy, Picotti? I can't even say it right. Pascal Picot. Yeah, Picot. He also ordered that thing as well. And, but all of them had these recommendations and changes, and by the time that happened. Trick Noble, I mean, you, 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 you just keep naming names. They swapped to a lot of people. Swapped to a lot of people, but it never really did much in the racing. Anyway, enough about that. Uh, some more bikes that we're working on. We talked about these before. Today, Angel is getting this race bike sorted out. It's a 748R. Is that what it is? Yeah, uh, I yeah, uh, yeah. don't know if it's an R, but it's a 748. 748, yeah. I don't know if it's an R. We're getting it all cleaned up. The tank's in bad shape, but it is a carbon tank, right? Yeah. So we're gonna get this thing cleaned up, get it sorted, put it on the auction site. This one's getting ready for shipping. I mentioned this on our last post. 
This one is a really good local buddy and uh, Ricky's roommate. Sean's bike has iconic branding all over it. Thank you very much. It's getting a Westby Racing body kit installed for it for his track bike. So as you can tell, this guy knows how to ride. That's pretty impressive. Uh, we're finishing this one, right, Scott? What are we waiting for on this? Just tires, right? Just waiting for the tires to come in, then we're done. All right, moving on. I'm going to show you something real quick before I close this video down. So over here, if you're asking where Daniel's at, Daniel is finishing uh, work <laughs> working on a um, what are, tuk tuk, right? <laughs> What do you call it? Vespa right. Ape. And I did a little ride in a park yesterday with it or in the parking lot. It was quite fun. Uh, it's basically a Vespa with little handlebars, no steering wheel. I didn't feel terribly comfortable in it, but uh, anyway, so we've already got it running really well. Now we're doing what? Now we're doing brakes? Brakes. And what else? Is that uh, it? We got a new battery? We got to relocate the battery, uh, fix the heater. I just want to go on record for you guys to follow us on YouTube. We do not work on scooters and nor do we work on tuk tuks. But <laughs> if you're a big client like this guy is, does a lot of favors for us, then uh, do what you gotta do. Let me show you a couple of things. One last thing, real quick, before we shut down. Scott, can you follow me for one sec? Yep. We just sold this 1098 hour this morning, so she is heading to a new owner. This one just came in. So I know it's custom painted and it's not for everybody. But uh, it's a local gentleman that uh, is moving into something else. Really neat paint job, stock body work. It's a cool fins, RC51, SP2. I can tell that by the swing arm and uh, obviously that's a black frame. Full iconic, arm um, full iconic tie, full <laughs> Prokovic uh, tie exhaust system and some other cool bits. So we'll get this one in the auction site pretty soon. And that's it. Thanks for joining us. We're gonna keep doing these and uh, let us know if you want anything else or you wanna see more of our stuff and we'll, we'll show it to you. Thanks, Scott.